now back to Inside West Virginia Politics with Mark Curtis. And hey, welcome back to Inside West Virginia Politics. Interesting and exciting technology news here in the Mountain State. We want to introduce Ann Barth, who's the Executive Director of Tech Connect here in West Virginia. Good to have you back on the program. Great to be back on the program. Thank you, Mark. Well, let's talk about the big announcement this week. Infor, a big high-tech company, they do cloud-based software um, applications for management. 100 new jobs here in downtown Charleston. How big of a deal is it to land a company this huge coming to West Virginia? It's a really big deal. It's fantastic news. Um, the state worked really hard to uh, work with the company to get them to make the decision to come here. And I am so excited that they've landed in Charleston and we are really thrilled to have them. And this obviously comes right out off of the Women in Technology Conference. Tell us a little bit about that and how important that is to have here in West Virginia. Sure thing, and I want to mention too that Enfor's Chief Operating Officer, Pam Murphy, was our guest speaker at the conference yesterday, and it was fabulous. Uh, she had wonderful words of wisdom for everybody in the room, but particularly for the students. Um, I would say that about 15% of our crowd yesterday, more than 200 people showed up, uh, a record this year, were there as students, and it was wonderful for them to see a perfect type of role model in the tech field and hear her words of encouragement and talk about what they're doing as a corporation to close the gender gap and what we can do as women in the field to help bring uh, younger women along. It's exciting. I got to spend some time with uh, Pam uh, Murphy this week, too, and talk to her. First of all, she's from Ireland. She has this <laughs> wonderful Irish accent, and as an Irish kid, I was like, this is great. <laughs> but I asked her, I said, what is your plan? Are you going to, because she's, you know, and some other folks have come in from New York City where their headquarters is. I said, is your plan to bring in people from other states that have trained elsewhere, or are you going to hire West Virginians? And her answer was primarily, they want to hire people from WVU, Marshall, West Virginia State. They want to hire from within the state and keep these people from leaving. How important is that? And do we have the right training and stuff to get our students prepared for these opportunities? Well, that's also a great uh, accomplishment and a good Good deal for West Virginia because we do have the programs in place that are higher education institutions including both the two and the four-year institutions so students in those programs know uh, that there are going to be jobs right in the area they can prepare and apply for those take those jobs but the words going to get out too and some of those who left the state to work in tech are going to say wow there's an opportunity back in Charleston I want to check this out um, and at the conference yesterday, she had a slide that said, we are hiring. So it's really exciting news for students uh, who are in programs now, but maybe those who moved away because they couldn't find the right kind of tech job here in the state. Is that the key to bringing tech to West Virginia is to get some of these people back? I know we've talked to people before where we will have this gap of trying to keep college students here, but we need the people with experience as well to fill some of these spots. Absolutely. And uh, we laugh sometimes and say that we like to, anytime there are job openings, we try to tell all the grandmother age ladies because they send <laughs> it out to their family members and say, oh, you may not know, but now there's some good jobs back in Charleston. So it's really key. Uh, but we're also showing that we can fill the pipeline here in the state with students. And one of the interesting things Pam talked about yesterday was the fact that artif artificial intelligence engineers, it's such a new field that there's really no stereotype. So that playing field is more level, say for women, uh, because there isn't a big stereotype about what they are. The jobs didn't exist so many years ago. You know, it's, it's a new thing. So we're excited about that as well. Yeah, I want to talk about the opportunities for women because my son is a STEM student. He's working on his master's degree in engineering, and he's a big computer guy. Uh, and I see the opportunity for him, but most of his classmates are other guys. And, and there's really opportunity here for young ladies to get involved in a booming field. And that's why we have this conference. We try to make sure we're getting the word out to people that the programs are there. Um, women, girls can do this. Um, they can take these classes, they can succeed, they can do well, and with encouragement, role models, and mentorship, we hope to really start filling jobs with more girls who've gone through programs in West Virginia for these jobs. Are, uh, you've been doing this conference now for a little while. Are you seeing more women head towards these fields? Um, well, it, the conference itself has grown. I think our first year we had about 70 people. Um, that, that was back in 2012. And yesterday we had a packed house at the Embassy Suites. More than 200 showed up. So definitely there's growing interest. And there's also a lot of growing interest in clubs and activities for students. 
Okay, we should mention too another big conference coming up December 3rd, your annual uh, Tech Connect Cyber Summit, uh, Coding and Cyber. Coding, Can you coding. tell me the name? It's your thing. <laughs> it's the Coding and Cyber Summit on December 3rd at the Embassy Suites here in Charleston. Uh, you can find more information about it on Tech Connect's website, which is techconnectwv.org. And uh, we're hoping to have some great speakers and line up uh, talking about the many opportunities in the cybersecurity workforce. All right, Ann Barth, Executive Director of Tech Connect. Let's grow the tech sector in the mountains. State, this is great. Thanks for being on again. And uh, don't forget to download this uh, podcast of this program from your favorite podcast site. We'll be, see you back here next week on Inside West Virginia.